This thing does not look safe at all. I still want to ride it. With over 17 million hits online, Colin's high-flying hover bike became a web sensation. Colin has propelled himself to the number one spot and his neighborhood better watch out. We've hooked up with Colin at his UK shed of operations to find out more about this most marvelous of flying machines. I've never flown, so I thought, let's have a crack at that. You know, I'd put a video out asking people for ideas, so the hover bike was born. One of the most difficult things was learning to ride it, really. It has got a mind of its own, the old hover bike, so you kind of just, you're just trying to tame it, basically, when you're on it. It's probably like trying to ride a lion, a flying lion. There you are, that's what it is. It's a flying lion. <laughs> it flies! It flies! So how did Colin build his flying lion? Colin needs to build a machine that has enough power that it can lift his weight and the weight of the machine itself. To accomplish this, he's used paraglider motors. Paramotors are perfect for this because they have a large power to weight ratio, because normally they're designed to be mounted on someone's back. But Colin has mounted them so that they point down and push him up into the air. Each motor has 27 horsepower. That creates a lift of 150 pounds or 70 kilograms. Since Colin weighs 176 pounds or 80 kilograms, he needs two of these motors to get him off the ground. If Colin were to mount both the motors in the same direction, it would cause their combined rotational force to rotate the hover bike. So what he's done is he's flipped one upside down. But now he's created another problem because he's generating lift towards the ground. So he has to change that blade out for another one because propeller blades only generate lift in one direction. Once up and flying, how does Colin control where the bike is headed? The engines, the frame, and Colin are just below the lifting capacity of the hover bike, so he can't add steering, he can't add a seat, and he can't add stability controls. This means that the only control mechanism that Colin has left is moving his own body weight around. And he does this to move forwards and backwards and side to side, and sometimes more successfully than others. 